Right, this should this should be short. Um, the new Sonoff uh, SNZB O2D temperature sensor. Let's have a look. Quick clean up. So uh, it's a Zigbee sensor showing 18.1 degrees or 18.3 degrees C, 61% humidity. Not sure what that frost sensor is for because 18 degrees isn't that cold. Anyway, it's a good device. Works a treat. I've commented in the blog that the angle of viewing isn't quite as good as it could be, but it's okay. Uh, I've also commented in the blog that I've paired it um, with my Sonoff NS Panel Pro. Um, made it a temperature sensor for the thermostat option in the NS Panel Pro. And for some reason, it's showing the temperature, but not the humidity. And also, it only seemed to take one reading in an hour, which seems a little bit low to me. However, <clears throat> just as I was about to give up, I've sent a message to uh, Sonoff to ask him what's up. I note, firmware updating, a new installation package is found in the NS Panel Pro. So, let's kind of impromptu-wise do the install. Hmm. Bit like watching paint drying, really. Checking the package, the device is going to reboot. Okay, fine. This new temperature sensor went straight in. And although, as I said there, the humidity is showing a zero in the sun off, um, in the NS Panel Pro, it's not actually doing anything with humidity anyway, but it would be better in my view if it didn't show humidity at all, if it isn't going to use it. So installing the system update. You'll find this over on the uh, tech blog. I'll leave a link to uh, the tech blog entry uh, in the video, but I, I really suggest that's where you go to and just use this video as an add-on. While that's working, let me show you something. I commented in the blog that I got a cheap temperature sensor, um, again, Zigbee from AliExpress. <coughs> Not in the same league, don't get me wrong, but something that did occur to me was that the display on the Sonoff unit, its contrast, as you can probably see here, is good when you're looking straight at it. Oh yeah, it's very good. But then if you go off center, it's not so good. This isn't a criticism of Sonoff. Lots of sensors are like that. But look at this cheap AliExpress job. You've got to be really at a, an extreme angle for it to go, for it to be not very good. However, it doesn't do much and it's got a silly smiling face. So I suppose we should just put that to one side. I I'll guess I'll turn that around so you can actually see it. Um, don't know how much reflection you're going to get there. Uh, congratulations. So do you want to delete the file? Yeah, delete the file. It's updated. Uh, we've got a rebooted. Um, I'm just going to look back at the camera here. Oh, you can see that. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> this cast, I still don't know what that means. It's a lot smaller than it was before the last upgrade. Right. So camera aha aha they've fixed it <laughs> there's my stat that i added to the ns panel 18 degrees 60 percent humidity sure enough i just griped the button at that in the blog so i guess i've got to redo the blog that looks lovely enabled now let me just um let me just go, oh, yeah, in the app, which I can't show you because it's on the phone that's recording this video, you set up the uh, which sensor you want to use for your thermostat and which output device. Uh, and I chose this new temperature sensor. And sure enough, there it is. Anyway, I'll go back now, uh, back out of this, and let's have a look. 
for the temperature and humidity sensor. There it is there. If I click on that, aha, now it's showing temperature and humidity and it's showing the history. But this is the same problem I had half an hour ago. Uh, it's been, I've been recording maybe an hour altogether of uh, temperature and humidity. And there are no records in the history for reasons beyond me. Of course, it's always possible that it's wiped any record as it's done the update, but I wouldn't have thought so. I thought I would do a quick check there of, uh, I have the Sonoff Cam Slim, that also works with NS Panel Pro. But anyway, so there we are, still no data. I wonder if somebody can have a look at that. Now, just so that nobody can say, well, you're being impatient, Peter, I'm pressing the button on the back of the temperature sensor to force it to take a reading. I'll even breathe on it to change the temperature. Right, it's gone up to 20. Now, it will obviously read that in time, but I can force the issue by pressing reset quickly. And that temperature is now showing uh, on the um, NS Panel Pro. So it knows it was 18, it knows it's 20, it knows it's now going back down to 19.6. But am I missing something here? No, there's still no temperature um, history there. I think I would like to see that building up as time goes on. Anyway, there you go. I'll update the blog. This was a worthwhile video.